Have you ever heard of the doldrums? You know, that point where you feel stuck in your life. You can't seem to break out of it. Do you know where that came from? The doldrums is actually a term that was given to the area of the ocean around the equator where due to atmospheric conditions, weather, and long spells of lack of wind that sailors would try to avoid. They tried to avoid getting stuck in the doldrums of the sea because if they did, they would just be floating. Back in the days before there were powered boats and they relied upon the wind to move around, they avoided those areas because if they got in there, they could be weeks without any wind and they could perish and they were stuck. Well, in life today, we use the word the doldrums to talk about that same effect where we feel stuck. We can't move. We can't seem to get out of the situation that we're in. I'm sure that's happened to you sometime, and I can tell you it's happened to me. <laughs> and I can tell you one of the things that I find very helpful if I get stuck in the doldrums is I do two main things. One, I try to reconnect with my God and try to regain that spirituality and that relationship with Him. And two, I try to take action into my own hands by reconnecting with something wonderful and, and, and majestic. And uh, that's why you'll see me a lot of times out walking in nature, taking a hike, taking beautiful pictures. It is my way of making sure that I can avoid the doldrums. Because I can tell you, I work hard. I'm a single father of seven. I work hard there as well. I work hard at my job. And sometimes I can get stuck in a rut and feel like I just can't get out of it. And so I am very proactive about finding ways to avoid the doldrums and getting myself out of them should I find myself in them. It's much like Elisha in the Bible who, uh, he had a point where he was just, he was so frustrated with what was going on, he finally went to God and said, hey, I give up, will you please just take my life? And yet God said to him, hold on, it's not time yet. And then he went on to do amazing things beyond that. So if you find yourself stuck in the doldrums, find a way to reconnect with your God, find a way to reconnect with majesty or something that energizes you. It may not be nature, it may not be hiking or riding your bike, it could be something totally different. But be proactive about that, ensure that you're putting those things into your life on a daily basis so that you can avoid the doldrums, so that you can keep the wind in your sails and, and sail your boat wherever you need it to go. I hope you've enjoyed this message, and I wish you uh, a, a fantastic day. God bless.